Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. And if you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, an awesome chart video. Like, it's like seven charts, really cool charts, and there's one calculation that will blow your mind. You need to see that calculation. So, watch the complete video to uh, see that information because it's really cool. Now, let's jump quickly into the chart. Stop talking to the video. Bam. This is the first chart. As you know, of course, um, this is the chart with the Bam Bam indicator. Yes, of course, you also know that we trade on Bybit. Uh, you can scan the QR code or um, click the links down below the video to get a bonus up to 4,000, I think 400 US dollar at the moment. You get fee discounts, you get a f uh, free access to the Bit Launchpad and may more. Um, if you use Bybit, you can also scan this really beautiful QR code that I made for you guys. Bam, gone with that commercial stuff. Now, um, this is the four hour chart on the four hour chart we can see that there is a long flag being built so we see it because there's a long flag indication we can also see that there's a positive green triangles that's pushing the price up now the candle already closed above the yellow stepping line the only thing that we still have in the bam bam indicator is shadow the blue and that is turning green now and then we get this green arrow over there uh, the bam bam line in the bottom is also moving above the white line and the white line is a little bit like flat it should be pointing a little bit more upwards but this is a good indication for a long is it a long that everybody needs to take i don't know because you know the long is finding at the moment resistance here at that red midline of the bollinger band if we break that one then the positive uptake could be around up, till that moment there 1.9 so that's a very risky trade for not a huge return on investment. So some people should sit out of this long. The risky people should take that long. That's how I think about this one. Now, if you want to get access to these indicators and go to the bitcoinfamily.com, uh, you will find products over there. You will find all these indicators packages over here. We also have a free indicator. That's the GT GAR. And to do to get the, to get access to the GT GAR, you need to do some steps. Five steps. You, you should subscribe to YouTube. Uh, you use this link to buy a bit. You follow me on Twitter, and you fill this form, and then you will get access to the free indicator. Now, let's quickly jump into the next part. This one. And uh, we are slowly zooming out now. This is the day chart, guys. And on the day chart, we can see the huge dotted white line coming down. Huh? It's at resistance and support line from the top. Um, let me see, like here, from the top all the way to where we are at the moment. So we were resistance and support at these yellow area, uh, circles. Now, and when if we zoom in to today, um, then we can see, guys, that yes, we are becoming very close again to these two lines upward land line and a downward line and it's forming a triangle here at the end so there will be a moment that we break out and the moment that we break out could be bam to the upside and could be bam to the downside now i'm going to show you a little bit more on the next couple of charts what i think that the movement will be so keep on hanging in there as it is really cool what i have to show you in calculations but first we go to the weekly chart as the weekly chart is my uh, favorite chart, as I always zoom out in the things. Now, and in this weekly chart, guys, we can see at the moment um, that the candle closed, of course, yesterday eh, with a weekly close over here. The close was at 19,264. Uh, the opening was at 19,430. So it's a, a bearish moment, but we have a huge wick to the bottom and then we have a small body, which mostly um, will indicate another long. And that's what we see now here. We see the long appearing. Exactly when we were making the video, the long is appearing. It's beautiful. And that long, we already had. And when we had that long, we had a huge bump. And we came back. And it still wants to go up. We are still higher than that previous low over there, 17,600. Now, as you know, the Bam Bam indicator tells you to take the long when we close above the other stepping line. And that is exactly what this candle at the moment from this week is doing. It opened above the yellow stepping line and now it needs to close above the yellow stepping line and when we close above the yellow stepping line near the bottom of the bollinger band and near the 300 weekly moving average i am willing to take that risky trade over there because then it could give me an uptake 
um, all the way here to the middle which is 8% or even to the top of the Bollinger Band which is 30% and that would bring us to 25k it could be a very beautiful trade guys on the weekly and yes we also have the green on the bottom which is indicated you should be buying now that was uh, a few charts now i'm jumping with you guys into uh, some amazing charts keep on hanging in there these charts are really cool uh, uh, meanwhile if you still didn't click the car code you can click the car code now here it's like over where where, where, where is it Didi? okay where do where's, where, you, uh, oh, 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 oh there's one here <laughs> There, 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 this one. Click, click, click. Scan, scan, scan. Or click the links down below the video. Um, uh, but I'm going to jump into really cool charts now. It won't take long, but they are amazing. So let's go. One, two, three, over. And bam. Here. This is the first one. Now, in the first chart, I will put my face in the right place here. This chart is look uh, from the side look into Bitcoin and it's showing you the BTC price, the balance price, the CVDD, the terminal price, the top cap and the delta top. If you look at this chart guys, all of these beautiful colored lines and then you look at the Bitcoin price, that blue line. The Bitcoin price was in this area once and was also in this area again. And it is the area of those two yellowish orange lines. And every time when the Bitcoin price comes in that area, that would have been the ultimate opportunity for you to buy into Bitcoin. And we are magically in that area. I know you're all waiting for that 10K and the 12K and the 15K. But I'm telling you now, don't wait. Dollar cost average. You don't want to miss out on the bottom without that gives you a really bad feeling because oh i was so bad i didn't buy the bottom and now you're stressing about two three four k which doesn't matter in the end if this bitcoin price again visits the green area the green the red and the purple area over there if we will do that again Look, that is near the 100k now and can come a little bit down and it would be 90k, it doesn't matter. The uptake is huge, the downtake is just 3k. Now, and that is what you see in this chart now, for example. They are comparing this one, I found it on Twitter here, uh, CryptoProf. Um, um, I think, um, yeah, my face is in front of his name, no, not anymore. Now, on this chart, you can see really coolly how he compares 2017-18, this area, we are there now, to the current run and in that run in 2017-18 we had this a b c correction the one line over there and, and then they had that second move over there you know the first drop bam and then the second move now this line over here this is the line that we went to after having that bottom over there now if we take a look at the same pattern here and we have the a b c this was number one it was the first huge drop, let's compare to that one. And then we have the number two over there that's ending in a yellow circle, that is this one. If we would move the same again like in 2018, we would now get a run all the way up, bam, here to the 60k level. I'm guessing 40 to 60k level. Really cool chart. If we zoom out and we look in a bigger time frame, I found this also on Twitter, on Washigoria, something like that. He's selling us the same over here. We have the SSB line, we have the Bitcoin candles, and uh, we have the tops. We have the amount of days that the, um, the SSB is crossing. And the candles over here, that's 350 days, 350 days, uh, 378 days. Now, the thing that you need to now see is every time when we had a huge drop of 50% over here, there, the price tends to try to reach bam that blue line again it's like a magnet when we had a huge drop 44 percent when the cross happened the price returned bam to the blue line here huge drop 48.7 percent after the cross we think the price will go bam back to that magnet also indicated at 48k level beautiful level really cool chart now then we zoom out a little bit more 
and then we see um, this beautiful chart here this is the 50 percent cagr reference lines which would mean that bitcoin increases 50 percent every year uh, then we would go to those price levels so that would mean um, if we would increase with 50 percent uh, we would could be the, uh, hitting 100k somewhere we could be hitting a million somewhere in the future and we have a halving price regression as well calculated in so yes it could be a little bit lower but these areas over here 28 to 2030 could all be happening between 100k and a million and that is something that i wanted to try to show you a little bit more simple as well and in the calculation i think my face is directly in the middle of the calculation well, my face is very small now so like very small in that calculation you can see this if you look at the results we had in bitcoin huh? 2010 we had 9,900 percent change in 2011 11 1400 percent 186 percent you know 5,000 percent we had a negative year here 58 percent and then another 35 125 1300 at negative of 73 and 95 366 you see all these changes from the start till the end from three till 30 cents from like 30 cents to four dollar now in 2022, we started with 47,920. We are at 20K, so we have a minus 50 cent year, which is in line with what we have seen every time. We saw green years, mostly three green years, one red. Three green, one red. Three green, probably one red. But if you look at these numbers, and then you look to the text at the right here. So if we calculate from 20K and then 50% per year, that will lead to 640k in 2030. The 25k plus 50% is 37k. Plus 50, 56, plus 50 is 84, plus 50 is 126. And if we go that all the way, calculate that all the way through to 2030, we get 640k. So do you believe now that we can make a 50% growth every year till 2030 if you look at the numbers of growth that we already had? They were a shitload higher, a shitload higher than 50% in average, a shitload higher. So do you believe that we can continue that? If you believe that, then you know that buying Bitcoin now should not even be a question. It shouldn't be a question. It should be just a knowledge based on numbers, based on halvings, based on demand, and based on less Bitcoins coming to the market every year. So uh, buy Bitcoin, but there's more charts, there's more charts. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna show you way more cool charts because this is, in my opinion, the second reason why you should be adding Bitcoins to your portfolio daily. This is, if you're talking about macroeconomics, eh, everybody wants to talk about macroeconomics, then this is the second reason you should be buying Bitcoin. If you would be doing your groceries with dollars, your cart was full for $20 in 1998, your cart is empty for dollars in 20. Uh, 21 and yes they still have uh, pr Trump on there it should be a new one of course uh, but probably Trump will come back <laughs> will come back but look the card is empty now reverse that to Bitcoin in 2012 yes you couldn't buy shit for one Bitcoin now in 2021 at the top you could buy a Volkswagen um, beautiful GTE you know like <laughs> that's the reverse thing that you see with money you buy less 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 and Bitcoin, you buy more, more, more for that Bitcoin. That's the second reason. Now, I have another reason for you guys. Now, that is this one over here. This is really cool, the global world reserve, world reserve currencies. And yes, you might say, oh, Didi, you are crazy. Yes, I might be a little bit crazy. You know, why else would I have gone all in? But this is for me a third reason that I would go into Bitcoin now. If you look into history, maybe I can make the picture bigger. Yes, um, then we know that Bitcoin has that Bitcoin has been around for now for like 13 years. If not, if you don't look at all the other currencies, how long they have been around, then you can see that we had the Portuguese here, bam, in the bottom. That's why I live here for for 80 years. 80 years was the world reserve currency. Then the Spain that had a build-up period during the Portuguese um, succession, and then here, bam, it was 110 years the Spanish peseta. <clears throat> and then the Dutch had the build-up period and then it took 80 years in total for the Dutch to rule the world with the guilder. 
and then of course after that the world reserve currencies became the French franc and then we had the English pound for 105 years and then during that English pound the US dollar was being built up and bam we had the dollar now um, almost 110 years if we calculate to 2030 guys and in that period there is a new currency being built up that could become the new the new world reserve currency and that build-up period is over there and that one is called bitcoin what if bitcoin becomes the new world reserve currency the beautiful part is that it will take another 120 years till the last bitcoin will be mined if we look at the amount of years that all these other currencies were ruling it was 110 105 95 80 110 isn't that like beautifully timed by bitcoin that we can be a world reserve currency for the next 120 years till the last bitcoin is being mined a very honest like decentralized world reserve currency that can't be too massively controlled by all these countries and where they can agree on calculating the oil price and all the gas price and all that stuff worldwide in that new world reserve currency that is equal to anyone and everyone and where they know of okay it is not controlled by that country or that so maybe we will get less wars that is something i also strongly believe in now the video is again bam becoming way longer than i intended it's already 17 minutes but i hope you really enjoyed this complete video with all the information and the price and my vision of why i'm in bitcoin uh, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? Also, what do you think about that vision with the World Reserve Currency? What do you think of all of this? Let me know down below in the comments. Let's make this a kick-ass liked video with most likes ever, most views ever, most everything ever. And I want to see the numbers go up while I'm drinking my first coffee of the day. Now, that's everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing week, an amazing Monday, and see you tomorrow again probably with a live from the Bam Bam Beach. Bam!